particularly over the last few weeks, that they hadn't really recognized it and appreciated it as much as they had. And now that it's going, you know, you don't know what you've got till it's gone, there's a surge of nostalgia and appreciation battle that frankly wasn't there ten years ago. There are, of course, um, still astronauts on board the International Space Station, and that's where this shuttle is going. Mm -hmm. How are they getting back? G two. Oh, um, the space shuttle um, will um, dock with the United States, and all space shuttles uh, up to now have been docked with the space station after the Columbia accident. Uh, space that travel to the space station will now be done with Russian Soyuz capsules. Uh, they, will be, they take three people, and therefore there will be um, routine three up, three down every once in a while from the space station for the next few years. And for whatever the space shuttle is replaced by, and that will be built by private industry, we don't really know the shape of that spacecraft at the moment, comes on stream. It could be three, four, five, six years. But it's a very, you know, within a, a minute and a half of, of the launch, this must be everybody at Cape Kennedy, must, at Cape Canaveral, must have a lump in their throat as a moment because they ne they've gone through this 134 times before. They're never going to go through it again, and yet they have to focus, they have to make sure everything's, everything's working right. You see there the uh, hydrogen coming off the uh, fuel tank, which is burning off and shortly. There'll be sparks, and uh, the engines will ignite. Okay, less than a minute to go. Let's listen in to Mission Control, the final countdown. But oxygen and liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are closed. T minus 40 seconds, handing off to Atlantis' computers at T minus 31. T minus 35, 33. T minus 31 seconds, failure. And we have had a failure. Grand sequencer. Let's talk to David Whitehouse. Dr. Whitehouse, Dr. David Whitehouse. What do you think is going on right now? Um, they haven't announced what's gone wrong, but it occurred. Oh, the clock's restarted. 20 seconds. Let's go back in. Has occurred. Solder rocket booster nozzle steering check can work. 20. Firing chain is armed. 15. Go for main engine start. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7. Six. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff. The final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. 
The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans. National Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rate of performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Transducer, instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 1 minute 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. The propulsion officer reports the orbital maneuvering system engines have ignited. Atlantis kicking on its afterburners for 1 minute 23 seconds for the final phase of powered flight. Atlantis, two engine towel. Well, a successful launch for the Space Shuttle Atlantis, the 135th and final flight for the Space Shuttle program. There was a heart-stopping 30 seconds or so when the clock stopped, but it did launch uh, as scheduled, pretty much. Sky's Ian Woods joins us live from Cape Canaveral in Florida. been watching uh, the Space Shuttle Atlantis take off there and... Ian, I can only imagine what it's like to see in person a powerful and spine-tingling moment. It's it's a privilege to be here. This is the third shuttle launch that uh, that I've seen in the flesh, and this was the most dramatic because when the clock stopped at 31.